I am Liz Wright. Welcome to Live Your Best Life. The only thing that matters now is living by the power of this wonderful new creation life. We're going to become an undefeatable force of radiating glory, and we are rising up strong now in this hour. Hi, family. Thank you for tuning in for this week's time together in this week's episode of Live Your Best Life with, of course, me, Liz Wright. And I wanted to share with you today um, a recent encounter that I've had with Jesus, which is really a um, very intimate invitation from his heart. And he spoke to me very clearly and he took me into an experience and I could feel um, I could feel his passion, his desire to be more deeply known by us. He is searching, is how I can express it most appropriately. I feel his heart searching to and fro amongst us, amongst the body of Christ. He's looking for where he can rest his heart, where he can open up another level of revelation regarding who he is to begin to share the deeper things. The you know, as in a in a marriage where a husband and wife, one heart can be fully known by the other. That's what's in his heart. He wants to be known by us. And for our hearts to be convinced of his love. And it's and it's all about because of his love being brought forth as the mature bride into a different level of capacity of partnership, of relationship with him as the queen, as you know, male and female, meaning as redeemed royalty, where we're exhibiting the attributes of the nature of Jesus, where the essence of who he is pours out of us as our primary expression, the new creation experience of having a new nature in the Lord now, one with him, being the primary expression from our lives, all flowing from hearts that are feeling how safe we are, how secure we are, yielding, leaning into him. And so from that place of security of because of how loved we are and that we're now experiencing that, knowing his heart more intimately, we're able to move at a different level, a different capacity of governmental effectiveness as we we decree and we move into impossibly difficult situations, carrying the one to whom impossibilities bow and see transforming power flowing from our lives because of the union, because of knowing him, because of this different level that he's inviting us into now. And so there was there was a, a revelation that flowed from his heart into mine that I wanted to read for us. And then and then I will share the encounter and I'd love for us to just step in. My heart is to not just share this with you, but actually activate you into experiencing this today. So if you can if you're not driving while you're listening to me, whenever, you know, if you are able to just sit and really absorb this, or if you are driving, listen to it. And then when you get home, when you have some time, just listen to it back again, soak in this, because Jesus will speak to you. He will take you in. This is an invitation that's coming live from his heart that will draw you into the experience that he intends for you. So, so what he spoke into my heart for us as I woke up in the morning and I begin to enter into this experience with him, I felt the next level of our stature coming forth, the, the mature bride who looks like love, that radiates Christ, that knows him, that's leaning into this next level of partnership, has security of heart, beginning to shine, the shining ones, the, rev- the bride's revival, the, those of us that are literally on fire on the inside and, like I said, radiating Christ coming forth, not one or two, but masses of us all over the world. There is an invitation that's being issued from his heart and he's calling us to himself, those that have ears to hear right now. He's calling you, he's called to himself into, like I said, this deeper partnership 
as the royal mature bride, which is his intention is that we would emerge in the earth now across the nations from all tribes, all tongues, all backgrounds. It doesn't matter what station you have in life, what your current circumstances are. This is who you are in Jesus. And he's calling you into this next level of capacity of relationship with him and expression of who you are because of it. And he said, He's calling us into this deeper relationship, this deeper partnership as the royal mature bride to live from the highest place, from the highest place of all authority, from the realm of confident rest, of being settled and secure of heart. In total faith, so faith and peace being the foundation of your heart, from the realm where promises are realized living from the crest of our mana, living from the strength of that. The crest of our mana, I will read to you from Song of Solomon 4 in a moment, and that's where Jesus took me. So that's where he spoke. And then the spirit realm opened up and I saw a white horse standing in front of me. And I could literally, it was so immersive, the encounter, I could literally feel the horse's breath and his nose right in front of me. And I began to reach out. And as I reached out towards the horse, just to stroke, like to stroke the horse's nose, Jesus was on top of the horse riding the horse. And he pulled me supernaturally onto the horse behind him. And I, the, the moment I did that, my whole heart and my whole being began to flop into him and relax and let go of pressure and stress and life stuff that we don't even know we're aware of, right? Until you become aware of it, you're carrying so much. And I flopped into him and I put my arms around his waist and the horse began to walk slowly forward. And we were on like a cliff top. There was a ravine, a very, very deep ravine. And on the other side of the ravine was a were just thousands and thousands of demons. I could see these de- pretty gruesome looking demonic creatures, thousands of them, but I couldn't feel anything about them. I didn't feel intimidated. I wasn't concerned, nothing. I just observed them and sank deeper as I just snuggled in to Jesus' back. And we walked, we walked, and I started to become aware that my heart was feeling supernaturally secure, comforted, safe, secure, because I was there with Jesus. And he was just being in his presence, his love and his strength was filling me and surrounding me. And so we walked along what seemed like quite a long time. And then suddenly the there was a mountain in front of us and the pathway was narrow and the horse began to walk a narrow path. And he said to me, the words from Song of Solomon chapter four, he said, come with me to the highest peaks together. And so we just continued to walk and this steep incline until eventually we got to the top and all the way up again, I was just sinking. I could feel my heart sinking deeper and deeper into rest, deep, secure rest. And I knew in my spirit that I was on, like I said, I was on the mount, the the, the mountain of Amana. I was in this supernatural experience with Jesus that was all about becoming untouchable, just feeling safety and security. Like I can't remember the last time I felt like that, so stable on the inside. So as we got to the top of this, the highest place, which is how Jesus described it, it was like being on the top of the world. There was just nothing else. We always looking down for miles and miles and miles of view into the distance. And there was nothing else. There were no peaks above us. We were in the highest place. And um, as we got there, we supernaturally dismounted off the white horse. And Jesus was standing in front of me. And he cupped my face in his hands. And this incredible love 
the love that he has for each of us just begin to pour out of his eyes, pour from, from within his being into my heart. And then he began to speak the words from Song of Solomon, chapter four. And I want to read it to you. And as I do, I encourage you to open your heart to him, to Jesus within you. He's there, obviously, by his spirit. He's within each one of us now. Turn your heart's attention to him and listen to what he's saying as I read some of this scripture to you. And you are going to experience a shift. I know it because of because this is what he spoke to me literally for us. It's activational. His word right, is alive and active. It's like a two-edged sword, as the word says. It divides even bone and marrow. It goes to the deepest parts of our heart. And he brings life-transforming truth that will set us free. It's a truth right, that sets us free. So as your heart receives the word of God now, and he's going to reveal his heart to you and change you and take you deeper into this next level of understanding his heart relationship and to this place of living, living with him from the high place, safe and secure, like it says in Psalm 91, before his face. Every part of you is so beautiful, men and women. He's looking into you. He looks beyond the temporal responses of our life to our circumstances, to whatever's going on in our soul in response to our journey, our earthly journey. He's looking beyond that. He's looking into the you, the authentic you that he created, that he perfected because of his finished work on the cross. I think every part of you, this is how he truly sees you, is so beautiful, perfect, is your beauty without a flaw within. Now hear this, hear this for you. This is the invitation. This is how Jesus sees you. This is what he's calling you into if your heart will just say yes. See, now you are ready, my bride, to come with me as we climb the highest peaks together. That's what he said to me. We walked up, we walked up on the white horse to the highest peaks together. Come with me as we climb the highest peaks together. Come with me through the archway of trust. What does that mean? It means simply trust him, simply have faith to move to a different level of your relationship journey with him. Come with me through the archway of trust. We will look down from the crest of the glistening mounts and from the summit of our sublime sanctuary. Together we will wage war in the lion's den and the leopard's lair as they watch nightly for their prey. So this level of partnership with Jesus, the highest place, is the place where we dwell with the king, the one who is all authority, has all authority. And this, the fruit, are part of the fruit of this different of relationship, of partnership with Jesus is authority, is the capacity to govern because the one who is government has our back, is flowing through us as transformational power. You will have divine perspective as you are with him in the highest place where your heart is so steady and so secure and so stable it's the realm where promises are realized, as it says in the footnotes in the Passion Translation of the Bible, just underneath this scripture, the footnotes are rich about the original language here. What is meant by this beautiful poetic language in the original language used, obviously Hebrew. And it's, it's all about coming to this place where your heart totally leans into Jesus, is totally secure, you feel totally safe, you have divine perspective, you know that he's with you, he's in you always, he's never going to leave or forsake you, he absolutely loves you, you are the focus of his attention, you are completely safe and empowered to move from one degree of glory to the next in ever-increasing victory evicting the enemy by bringing the light, by speaking the word of truth with one whisper when you have divine perspective and you're in this level of 
comfort and strength and therefore authority. And so it's the realm where promises are realized. It's the because you are believing, you've stepped in through the archway of trust, you've gone to this next level. Holy, you are going to see Jesus victorious in your life moving through you. Holy Spirit, wow, 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 removing the enemy from the midst of your life, your circumstances, your family, those you love. You will go on assignments with Jesus. You will see darkness eradicated because the King is with you. The King is in you. His truth is being decreed. As you see a situation with divine perspective, you see how he wants it to be. And you work with him in partnership with him to see that situation transformed. No, it says, for you reach in. The reason why you're moving in this level of authority now is you reach in to his heart with one flash of your eyes. He is undone by your love. He's undone by your love. And he says, my beloved, my equal, my bride, you leave me breathless. So he's calling you to come right now to step in to this next level of being able to operate in partnership with him, where you move, Holy Spirit, from the crest of Amana, the crest of Amana, which means in the Hebrew, I'm just going to read it from the footnotes here, it's the realm where all God's promises are kept and realized. It's the realm, the place of settled security settled security, the place of divine perspective. This is what he wants for you. So I just encourage you right now, just take a moment and let your heart respond to him. I'm just going to give language. Actually, I'm going to respond. I've been responding since this first started. When Jesus took me into this encounter, I've been praying for all of us. I've been praying for myself, responding myself, but also praying for the bride to be able to shift into this new level. And so, Jesus, we do, we, whew, wow, wow, with all of our hearts, we say yes. We want to go to the highest place with you. We want, we step in through the archway of trust. We want to know you in the way that you want to be known. We want to understand the movements of your heart, the expressions of your face, what matters to you. We want to have divine perspective. We want our hearts to be sitting in that place of such utter security and rest that comes from knowing how much you love us. We want it, Jesus. We want to move in this mature expression as the bride coming forth as redeemed royalty alongside you, reigning with you, coming up above all of the darkness, seeing the enemy, but not being remotely intimidated because we are so safe and secure in your love, so aware of the authority that we carry now, as of you being within us. Holy Spirit, Jesus just spoke into my spirit. And as I said that, when God is for you, he wants you to hear this, when God is for you, when he is for you, who can be again? That is the truth. And he is for you. So Jesus, we do take up our position now alongside you. We take up our position. By faith, we step through the archway of trust. We come up onto the high place with you. Wow. 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 <clears throat> and I just heard Holy Spirit say, bring to him from this place. Wow, from this place that you have just told Jesus you want to be with him in. He's drawing you into it. He's realigning you right now into this next, this next level in him. He's saying, bring to him in this place the most challenging situation that you face. Bring it to him. Just take a moment. Whatever it is that you know you absolutely have to have breakthrough in, place it in his hands. He's right next to you. He's enfolding you with his wraparound presence right now. 
he's aware and I can actually see him alongside you looking at whatever it is that you've now put in your hand and are giving to him. Whatever it is, money issues, relationship breakdown, sickness, even the inability to fully experience his love in a sensory way, the inability to believe him, he is looking at you and knows who he is in you. He knows where he can bring you to. He's the God of the impossible. And right now, Holy Spirit, his presence is resting over that impossibility. Holy. Wow. I just want to stay here for a moment. I'm really feeling Holy Spirit breaking through. Yeah, I can see him. There's loved ones, others that you really care about that have gone far away. Husbands, wives have gone far away. Um, heart sickness, far away from the Lord. They've like emotionally shut down from the Lord. Some people emotionally, they've got you, pressure in pressure and overwhelm, depression. They've gone away. People with distorted perspectives because of heart sickness, pain, responses to life trauma, historic trauma. I can see, I'm just speaking out what I'm seeing, all sorts of different physical ailments, different kinds of um, diseases labeled incurable in the natural Holy Spirit. He's, he's saying, just put them up in your hands, give them to me, give them to me in this new place, in this high place. Holy Spirit, he's releasing breakthrough now. It's releasing breakthrough. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is no lack in the kingdom of heaven. There's no no in the Lord's heart. There's no no. There's nothing impossible. Like I said before, impossibility bows in the presence of the king, and you are in the presence of the king. You are abiding right now in his presence, your conscious awareness has tuned you back in. Just listening to what I'm sharing, engaging in your heart with the invitation that's flowing from the Lord's heart through what I'm sharing, your conscious moment again of his presence, his person with you, in you, surrounding you. Holy, holy. And it's in this place, it's in this place where he becomes the solution the solution for all that you're dealing with right now, those impossibilities that he is transforming. He is transforming. And as you go forward with him in this next level of relationship, of partnership with him, shining, increasingly shining, shining the beauty, the radiance of who he is, the, the qualities, the virtues of the person of Christ shining from within you. That's what the mature bride looks like, right? We look increasingly like Jesus. We radiate increasingly the virtue of his nature that's needed, that's governmental. Situations, if it's sickness, healing flows. If it's abandonment issues, rejection of the heart, emotional wounding, it's love, unconditional love that flows from him. So in this next level of walk where we're leaning we're trusting, we're resting, we go into the high place with him. We live from the high place, we live from that divine perspective and his presence more completely than we have. He may trust you with seasons of suffering. He doesn't cause the suffering, but he will lead us through the suffering in life, the circumstances that are difficult in life. And, you, and in this place where you have the privilege of leaning into him and the flow of power that comes from him, is him, literally is him. You're going to see him showing up in that situation as supernatural patience or supernatural joy or supernatural healing or supernatural goodness, kindness, wisdom, knowledge that you need for that moment to get that breakthrough that's essential for you. Whatever it is, he is within you. And the mature bride looks like him. So that's the next level. Now we're having, we've, we have that 
but this next level that he's taking us to as we simply lean and enjoy him is going to be, I believe, a different level of the radiance of Christ, the shining ones, the bride, becoming visible, becoming visible. And I honestly, I believe we are going to see as we move forward, we're going to see demons fleeing, getting out of the way. As we walk forward with the king, the enemy cannot remain. As we walk forward, we're going to clear the atmosphere wherever we go because the king is present and we're releasing we're releasing him. Transformational power everywhere we go will be released more and more and more. So, amen, amen. And I'm believing with you today that impossibility, bowing, bowing and transforming and Jesus being glorified in the midst of testimony, wowing your heart today with your needs met again through his riches in glory. Oh, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for massive fruit. Thank you for massive miracles. Thank you for transformation of heart. Thank you for deeper encounters for my brothers and my sisters beyond anything that they've known. I thank you, Lord, that this next week they will experience themselves living from the highest place of you, safe and secure, the realm of confident rest, the realm of security of heart, the realm where your promises are realized, are realized, they manifest. Thank you, Jesus. Have the most amazing week, and I look forward to being with you again next week. God bless. Hi, if you really enjoyed today's show and you want to go deeper with Jesus and experience his love and his presence more than you ever have, then I have a present for you, a free gift. If you want to jump over to experiencinggodslove.com and just click on and sign up, then you will receive one of my teaching videos that I have created especially for you that will not only give you a few keys just very, very quickly that you can uh, utilize in your daily walk with the Lord, um, but also I'm going to take you there as well. So it's an activation. So yeah, so jump over to experiencinggodslove.com and you are going to be so blessed. <laughs>